Alright, welcome to my tutorial for today. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys how you use stock link and stock tickers make a shop. Alright, so here's the box. You have stock ticker, uh, stock link, frog port, packager, got a chest, stock ticker, and a blue table cloth, and that's a factory gauge. So, I'm gonna show you guys first how to make this. So, first you're gonna put down a stock ticker. Uh, then you need a mob next to it, so I'm going to use a blaze burner, for example. And then you'll be able to see his stuff inside one. And it gives him a hat, which is great. I love it. It's such a cute little hat. Anyway, um, then you want to get a filter to filter your items. And then I'll put it in there. So, for example, uh, maybe I want to sell elytras. This is just an example. Obviously, you won't be able to do that. Uh, that's durability, but you don't really need that unless you want to sell certain items with durability. And there's the allow list. I'm going to use the allow list. But there's also a deny list. So I'm going to add that first for Elytra, and I'm going to put my filter there. Perfect, now we have the Elytra. And then stuff will show up there once I get a thing working. So first we need a stock ticker. So let's go set up a frog port and such over here. We need a packager as well. So over here, I'm going to set up this with a, f uh, oh, uh, with a chest. It'll have a frog port on top. And then I put a stock link there, and it should work. Why is it not working? It's right there, though. Oh, I forgot to put Elytra in there. We'll put a few Elytras in there. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Why is it not working still? Oh, I forgot to link it. Hold up. You have to link it with your stock ticker. All right, there we go. So now the elytra show up and it says I have nine elytras. So you're gonna, uh, next we have to set up a conveyor. So get some metal things, for, uh, metal girder. You stack those up on either side you want. Then you just put a chain conveyor like that. Then you gotta get a chain to make them go across. So we'll get that real quick. There you go, you just link them up with a chain. And then there you go, you have a chain conveyor. It's that easy. So now you're gonna wanna make another frog port so then they can go across. So I'm gonna build mine right here. I'm gonna put two chests for Elytra storage. So maybe I put a shop right there. It'll look like this. So like there's my food storage over here, just an example. Sorry, it's messy. And it holds 100 steak at a time. That's what the factory gauge does. Right here, I have my other frog port to send steaks to the storage, so theoretically, if I got steak, I would put it in there and I would send it to storage when it needs. So, I'm gonna get a frog port again with a packager. I will unpackage stuff in this case. And a frog port. Put that on top, put a chest here, but you should put the chest before the packager. Place normally. Future Caden here. I forgot to put the frog port on the conveyor, but you need to put that there. Uh, I'll fix it in a minute, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, as we were going, uh, I na we named the Elytra storage for that. That works. Then over here, see, and now we type in the bottom Elytra storage, so we know it'll be sending it over to the Elytra storage. Why didn't it order up? Uh, it normally does. What's wrong? Did I not name this one? Here, we'll do it. Uh, Elytra. Elytras, there we go. Oh, it's not moving. Hold up. I need to get the. Let's use the creative mode here. Come on. There we go. Alright, there we go. And it's spinning in circles. What am I doing wrong? Okay, yeah, hold up. Ordering Elytra. Why is it? I forgot to link the frog port. Of course, bro. Ugh. Look, it's still spinning in circles. What was wrong? Alright. Elytra storage. I forgot to link this one too, of course. It always happens, bro. Elytra storage. Alright, there we go. So it should work now, so when I, I'll just order like all the, no, nah, I'll do one. It sends it over, there we go. 
and then that one eats it. That's a simple storage system if you need to order something from like a community chest or something, and I put it on and it works. See? It's fire. So now if I wanna like order any amount of electros, like, oh, I don't have enough this and that chest, then yeah. All right, next we're gonna set up a shop. So for the shop, you're gonna sell stuff. So I'm gonna make like a counter here, like that. Now one of the key things you need is uh, a tablecloth. So these will be what's used to sell stuff. You'll link it to your stock ticker as well, or mostly the mob selling stuff. I don't wanna make another entire stock ticker with stuff. So I'll just showcase the zombie here in a second. But basically you'll link it and then you can sell items and it will always keep items in stock. So you'll hit configure in this guy. And I'll configure it for the certain chest. Like that. But I have it set up over here so you can buy stuff from the zombie. But like I have one cardboard pants. I'm trying to go to like a package for one steak. And then there will always be steak in that chest behind him. So then I can always sell stuff. It's great for if you have like an M SMP and you want to sell stuff on the SMP for stuff. Or other stuff you might need. So this would be really helpful if you install the crate mod on that. And yeah, that's about it. I'll order all the electrics for fun. Just send that over there. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Um, I will make more on how to use chain conveyors and anything else you might you guys might want with the crate mod. So yeah, stay tuned.